watching this Disney Queen Skelly here. So why am I standing? <laughs> Good question. I feel like laying down right now. But I'm standing because I actually want to show you guys my pin collection. So far, this is all I got on my vest. These are the first two pins I pinned on. I don't remember where I received this one. But this one I received after working haunt, um, I think my first year at Scary Farm. Yeah, 2017. So that's my first year. And then I got a bunch of like birthday pins and like food festival pins, honorary citizen of Disneyland. I got um, a couple happily ever afters, some celebratings. I have two of the ones you can buy. This one's for um, Jungle Cruise. It says, I'll be your skipper, tour guide, social director, and swim instructor. And this one's obviously for Haunted Mansion. And again, food and wines, so just a bunch of those pins. So, just recently, off of Amazon, I bought these nifty, nifty little pin back, back pins because the ones on the Disneyland pins obviously don't work as well. They tend to fall off way too easily. So I figured today I'd be showing off my pins as well as putting them on the vest for you guys to see. So the first pin I'm going to show you is this guy right here. So I don't know if you guys remember when Toy Story 4 came out, but when it did come out, um, a friend of mine took Hubby and I to actually go see all four movies in order, and we got these special pins as well as some lanyards and a couple of posters. I'm going to put this one on my vest. So again, as you can see, it comes with this little back end, which obviously they don't, um, they don't stay well on, um, on the shirts or vests or anything like that. So I'm going to switch them out for the butterfly back end that I got. I think with these, I'm just going to throw them out. <laughs> Next pin we're going to put on is a pin that I got for Christmas from my aunt. Or not for Christmas, I don't think. But yeah, no, it was for Christmas. I got it from my aunt. Um, I don't know. I think she got this from, she got this from Disney. But it's the, the soccer Mickey. And I don't know, unfortunately, what team that is. Hang on. This Seattle on there. So I don't know. Maybe Seattle has a hawker, uh, Seattle has a soccer team. I don't know. <laughs> Next is a little Darth Vader Easter egg pin. Um, don't remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be hubby's. Is this supposed to be yours? He doesn't think it's his. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it for myself. Next pin I'm putting on is a Disneyland 2019 AP Halloween pin. Um, Harley Baby and I got these when we went to the um, Disney uh, Haunt event. Disneyland and they had like a special AP corner for it. Next is one of my personal favorites, the Powerline pin. For those of you who don't know me too well, an extremely goofy movie, or not extremely, that's a sequel, a goofy movie is one of my favorite Disney movies and the songs that they have in that movie are my favorite in any Disney movie that has ever been released. Next pin is my favorite villain, Hades. It says devilishly handsome, even though I am a woman, but I'm technically pretty. But in this case, I will be devilishly handsome. <laughs> Next is Oogie Boogie and Jack. Now, <laughs> I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. I'm pretty sure Harley Baby got me this one because she's usually the one who gets me my number before Christmas pins. Other than Hubby, he got me a few of these too. We got five more pins to go. So this one is a Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas edition pin. So as you can see, Jack is sitting on Zero's tombstone. It says, rest in peace. This one is because of the woman who sits on the grave. I think she's holding, she's not holding a hatchet. She's holding something. Is she holding a hatchet? The lady who sits on the grave in that one picture in the Haunted Mansion. She's holding a hatchet, right? She's holding a rose. So Hubby told me that the lady who sits on, on this tombstone of her husband is holding a rose, not a hatchet. I'm just thinking of the hatchet, right? <laughs> Next is La. Chalk Barrel. <laughs> it's Barrel. <laughs> these come in the mystery packs that you can get at Disney. Harley Baby loves these. I personally don't buy them as much because I'm always afraid I'm going to get like the same person over and over. And to me, that's just kind of a waste of money. But, you know, these are still cute either way. Next from the same mystery pack is Sally. She's not my favorite Nightmare Before Christmas character, but it's still cute to get her. She looks adorable in her little Tsum Tsum form. Second to last is this little Peter Pan heart, or not heart, um, ears. I believe Harley Baby gave this to me. I don't, it's either she didn't want it or she already had a, a Peter Pan pin. I don't remember, but it's still cute. 
And finally, last, but certainly not least, is this Hades pin. It's got pain and panic on it, so I got my favorite villain with his two henchmen, which is super awesome. <laughs> and those are all my pins that I have found thus far. I am pretty sure I have more pins. I just don't know where the hell they are. But once I find them, I'm going to put them on the vest so I can start pin trading. Once Disney opens back up again, I cannot wait. If you guys are pin traders, let me know in the comments what pins you have. Maybe, uh, I don't know, find a way to send me a picture of them. Um, I do have a Facebook page now. Um, I'll link that in the description down below so you can like my page and uh, get updated even more on when videos are going to come out in case you miss the notification. And if you don't... <laughs> Like, if you don't have the notifications turned on for me and you want to watch my videos, obviously, you know, turn that in a little notification bell on. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.